F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. Cosa sta succedendo, F double R fam? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R friend request reviews with friends request friends to watch The Sopranos season three episode thirteen. The Army of One. Yes, that's the finale, y'all. We finally made it, man. And this season has been great to us. We jumping straight in from episode 12. Shit done popped off. Gloria Trillo is going crazy. Jackie Jr. is going crazy. <sighs> what is this finale going to bring us? How you feeling over there, Bradley? I'm feeling great, man. We doing Sopranos back to back, so it's a blessed day for me. Because you know how I feel about Sopranos. But, yeah, man, last episode was crazy. Hella intense. It was just really some great moments in the last episode. And then, you know, we, we got the cliffhanger with uh, Jackie. And not only Jackie, they left us off with Philly. So I don't know if they might be bringing him back because, you know, he sure didn't make a promise to somebody. So hmm. I'm not sure if that's just kind of them kind of nodding to to Philly like you know we're gonna see him this episode do his thing but I, I didn't know he was about it so let's see if he really bought it <laughs> the mobsters all about it man so look we ain't gonna hold y'all any longer we just gonna fly right in y'all know what to do with these videos drop those likes make sure you comment down below how did y'all like season three of the Sopranos and most importantly subscribe the goal is 10k click the button click the bell get notified when we go Get it. <clears throat> How are you doing? Cosa sta succedendo? Inflatable too, man. Woke up this morning, I got a blue moon in your eyes. Hey, hey. I wonder if uh, if this song was made before the show. I think it's so. Such a solid, such a solid intro. Like it goes perfect. Some of the shit that he says in the song, like. Hey, way Jameson. Trapping. Yeah, you're pissing in. Leaving evidence. Now I gotta pay. <laughs> they in the school. Yep, doing bullshit again. Here we go. <laughs> look how he's wearing his hat. <laughs> I always look at AJ's sense of style when I when they show him because it's always like two years later. Like <laughs> for real, it's always different. He about to pull his test and give him himself a hey. Who this? I know, right? Where we at? Omar, what? He can get you a Glock nine. Welcome to the Bunton Holiday Inn. <laughs> this is crazy. My name is Nina. What's your name? Uh, probably shouldn't say. Mr. X, then. Hey, Mr. X. I like that. Is Omar hiding from hiding from Avon as well? He need a little uh, rent money. Probably when he went. This probably when he went to New York. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. You right. This is what that nigga so, was doing, holding up a hotel. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, hustler. Door. <laughs> <laughs> Had the child safety lock on this shit. I can't lie. This that piano singer reminds me of scary movie. Shake your ass. Watch yourself. <laughs> Son lets me live in a place like this. You happy about it? He's such a good boy. Wow, look at that. Yeah, well, who's the queen, huh? <laughs> Come on now. Try those peeps. <laughs> how can you not love them? I know how. Nice haul cracking that strong box. Almost a hundred K. Where's my half? Fucking weak now. Fuck you talking about? Your future stepson. Card game, come on. He pissed on your leg. Killed your dealer. Shot at two mate guys. 
I'm gonna give that little fuck our mats. He'll never forget. <clears throat> Soon as we can locate him. He's in a housing project in fucking Booton. Damn, he already know? Of course he does. Ralphie ain't looking for him. Guts. It's my territory. <laughs> Guts. Tony, what is it? What is he? It's okay? really Vito. You set the call in five minutes. No, 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 no. She got a green hat on. It's that big, huh? Some birds up ahead flying. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas playing I Spy and shit. Like. Yep. <laughs> uh. I could be there in a half hour. He trying to get out of this 50K. Oh, what can I do? To be continued, looks like. <laughs> Tony needs me. We'll work this out another time. Ugh. Mm. Mm. Call Did he call ASAP. Tony immediately? Asa. I hope so. I hope that's Paulie. Hello. Tony? Oh, shit. It's me. All right. Ooh, <clears throat> wasn't expecting that. Facts. Be calling me here. I have to. What else am I going to do? Don't say nothing. You got to help me. Talk to your stepfather. Let him help. I can't talk to him. Please don't hang up. For my dad, if not for me. Well, he's been dead two years. As a matter of fact, the expiration date was last week. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. See? That shit ain't going... When you and him did the same thing, you got forgiven? Well, think about it. See if you can figure out the difference. He called him out? He told him you did the same thing? Damn, he really called that man out. Mr. X, can you play chess? No. Of course not. I can. My daddy taught me. Yeah, this is, you're dealing with a dumbass in front of you. The ass pool man. Let me That's find out. Is. Jackie about to learn chess from a little black girl, and it's gonna teach him life happen. lessons and shit. Like they about to have a spinoff movie about this shit. Like, Not gonna happen. <laughs> Jackie Jr. Yo, you seen chess. that though, right? Nah, what? I missed it for sure. He just gave him a bag to Fury. Yo. Economic downturn. That's all you hear about, but not you, boy. Is he paying them off to be cool, or is he paying them off to do a bidding? We about to find out next season. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. He called me. Mm-hmm. Got to handle Sorry. it. Sorry. Nah, don't apologize. Anyway, I told him to take it up with you. But more important than the particular decision is that it happened in a timely fashion. Mm. You feel me? You letting this shit just rock, like... Yep. Why am I telling you? You know all this. You're a captain. You're a captain. <laughs> <laughs> Keep hitting him with that shit. Sorry he called your house. Don't apologize. Just fix it. Tony don't want to give the word himself, though. He acting like a little bitch. Nah, he don't. He don't want to get a word himself because he don't want his people turning on him like Chris. Both of you got 96% correct. Mm. Remarkable. Dumbass. I'd like to call your parents and share the good news with them. Oh, uh, you really don't have to. I don't have to waste my time with you. It was both your urines that Mr. Lugomov spent two hours scrubbing. Damn. Your DNA was an exact match. Oh, jeez. Dumbass. The one who peed first. Stupid. They did not they get did, your yeah. DNA. They didn't. You know how expensive that shit probably is. I win again. <laughs> I see you should have played that out. That's the only way you're going to learn. Yep, exactly. Yep. Learn from your mistakes. You guys need anything? No, I'm cool. What are you laughing at? You're sorry, ass. She's laughing at the ass pool, man. They Check not all drawer. so bad, huh? Huh? Huh, no. Jackie? Are you going to go home and say I was kicking it with black people and it was fun? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Getting looked up and down like, what you doing in the hood, man? Oh. <gasps> Happened. How could it be thirty-two hundred dollars? He said the transmission was completely compromised. Done. Wow. I'm coming home late. I got some shit I gotta do. Dude, that oh, just happened. I was speechless, bro. It was so quick, like it just that just happened. And the and the money that I was talking about was for him to get popped. Wow. 
I've been dreaming of that fucking Lomain all the way to fuck over here. Now, who came in here and ate my shit? I told you, he be spazzing over the dumbest shit, man. He got to get his fucking emotions in check. Not for nothing, T. But, uh, I think I'm a wild little tight like this. Yes, this whole season, right? Just suck a shit, Ralphie. That's what I got to talk to you about. So Ralphie says the dough's his. I'll talk to him about it. Oh, fuck that. I've been telling you for months now this guy's no good. Mm. And I need that money for my long-range plan. the second person yelling at you. I want to sit down. All right. Answer the fucking phone. All that insubordination you worried about. Mm-hmm. Chris stormed out of there. Kamala. Sounds like she's crying. Oh, what? shit. Did What's the news get now? back to them? I mean, he got killed in public, so the news getting back to somebody eventually. Oh, shit. So was maybe it got on? back already. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Permanent expulsion. Mmm, the fucking AJ. <sighs> I work hard all day to pay for this 6,000 square foot house, big Damn, screen 6, TV, 000? food on the table, Sheesh. video games, Columbia University, and for what? To come home to this? Mmm. Sucks to be you. Yo, snuff this nigga. For, thank you. Ooh, like, I'm sorry, man. Like, he needed it. Yeah, he needed I'm it. I'm sorry. That's like, come on, son. She went chasing after him. School guidance counselor said mm. this might be a cry for help. Okay. Oh, come on, will ya? She recommended a school in New Brunswick, Burnwood Day. It's for troubled kids. The psychologist right on stage. Oh, trying to send them to the remedial? Go to military school. What? That's right, I got mm. some brochures. You got school brochures? Yeah, from Janice. I'm not sending him away. We're looking at those brochures. What is with you, you Tony? Got up lately. He's wound up. Boy, he going through some shit. That's true. Well, he got to do something about his son, man. He got to be more. He got he to pay attention a little bit more, man. No, that's true. Hello? He ain't got no fucking choice. Yes. Oh, hi, Marie. Check Please. Plate. Oh, yeah. thank God. Thought it was a guma. Oh, my God. They found out. They found out. Where's Rosalie? She's right here. Yep, they found out. She can't come to the phone. Tell her I'll be there as soon as I can. <sighs> And it happened in a perfect neighborhood. They probably just gonna blame it on a gang banging type shit. Booten projects by uh, drug dealers. Yep. See. Yep. I'm going over. Damn, man. He. They just set. They already set up the precedence for it being a drug problem. Oh my god. Yep. It's so. It's Perfectly. so fucked up. It's fucked up, but it worked out for them. Perfect. You see. Ah, uh, you see. Wow. <laughs> they ended oh that God. situation. Oh no, very he's quickly. about to tell. Uh, There's something I gotta tell you. This is not gonna I go well. Jackie, he was doing a drug deal with some black dudes, and they shot him. He's like, I dead. knew it. She about to go kick Noah's ass, like. <laughs> Twenty-two years old. Living in a housing project. Imagine a shame for the family. How's your daughter taking it? Oh, very well. You certainly Best. saw it coming with this boy, didn't you? And your son? Yep. AJ? Exactly. Let's hear this one. Forget. He lost. He'd never make it. Facts. He would have sold out right there, pissing. They would have said, we got your <laughs> DNA. You pissed in your car while they did the robbery. Jackie is dead, and you perseverate on secondary school. Your brother doesn't have a school. You can't be allowed to uh, sit around chatting all day on the web with the other dropouts and the flakes. Hmm. What, the X? Half the kids I know take it. If to get it from someone, it's not something you get killed over. Except that he did. Look at who he grew up with. Look at who his father was. Look mm, at everybody the... we know. Let's not get cute. And I'm being cute. She tying the nuts. Mmm. The insubordination. So like a lot of other people, you go around looking for boogeymen to blame. Boogeymen with Italian names. So hmm. whatever you're thinking, you just stop thinking it right now because that is not what happened. Especially not from daddy. So I hope that's not what you're thinking. Mm, you Definitely know she's thinking from... that. Definitely wasn't from him. <sighs> Stealing an exam, that's quite a personal defeat, isn't it? Oh, shit! It was wrong. Would you like to play a game? You feel me? 
Cadet Corps has first call in formation 0530 each day. March in formation to first mess 0620. Followed by dorm inspection 0700. Classes 0800 to 1440. Taps, mm. lights out, 2200 hours. What's missing? Give up. Television. <laughs> yep, no, no Nintendo. What's 0530 mean? 530 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say he don't know military time. He don't a blueprint for total self-discipline that would take you through your entire life and that's your only question why do guys in the army use that o thing when they tell time <laughs> he's still on the damn time for now we have an expression around here keep it simple please give mr soprano the standard toi while i meet with his parents sir yes sir <laughs> already sizing him up that's exactly how they do you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas is annoying. You want to train him to be a professional killer? Oh, will you stop? They're soldiers. And the United States Army never goes to war anymore. They were marching with rifles, Tony. They're symbolic. The barrels are plugged. Symbolic of what? Respect! Boys his age still kill frogs and small animals. The cool man was I know, I right? What the fuck? Uh, no, I was playing with fire, jumping on roofs. What are you talking about? He thinks the hmm. world owes him a fucking living. What could have given him that bizarre idea? Hmm. How do you Us. fix it, though? For 15 years now, with the Berry Brazel to the validating his feelings, and that fucking school did the same thing, and what a surprise. He thinks the world runs on his feelings. Well, he's going to go learn to be a man. I will not hmm. send him to that place. Taught him how to learn how to use. Fuck. Yep, that door is done, niggas. Stop fucking slamming it, bro. Hey. Oh, Jesus Christ. About the sit down. I haven't heard in Jesus yet. Christ, can I bury my best friend's kid? Hmm. Paulie's not damn. He about to get Paulie on his bad side too. Bad. Tony's losing this. This is a bad season for him. It really is. It's a really bad season for him. She gone. Facts. She gone. She gone. She lost her husband and her son. My partner and I cut this. Oh, it's shit. Devotional music. It's a little rap. No, it's finally here. That's crazy, right? Let's go. They really did bring this shit back. Let's get it. Tommy Matola at Sony. Looks like he's going to offer us a deal. She said at Sony, though. She trying to pump that shit up. That man said, I don't want to listen to your mixtape. You feel me? We Fuck good. your mixtape. Listen about Jackie. And you know, Ralph, how you handle that so it wouldn't stick to any of us. Mm. Anyway, what I said about not loving you, that's not how it is. Damn, Tony cold, man. You don't believe that shit, that's why. I mean, I feel it, but... The way Tony move, how could you not live life looking over your shoulder? Hmm. I'll be expecting to get whacked by my own my bestie. The way Tony be acting, the niggas. Mm, she thinking about it, about what yep. Meadow said. Yep. Mm. Let's try it your way. Mm, okay, she saw she made the realization. I don't want to see AJ yeah. like this. Hell yeah, thank God. I think I got my situated. The uh brother Joe Bone. Nah, fuck that. We went there. Okay, boots. Almost gagged. Damn. Nah, we're Stunt. gonna go with Green Grove. <laughs> it's a retirement community. The level of care. I'm always crying. Eight grand a month? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? You see a C and I dog over here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to insult you. I'm just say, be tough, but I'll figure it out. Like every Facts. fucking penny. Eight grand is a lot. He already put down forty though, right? So that's like the five months. No, more. he didn't put down forty. He said I'll have it to you by the end of the week. Maybe that's why you oh, climbed yeah. from fifty. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're late. Well, tomorrow I can be on time, but you'll be stupid forever. Hey, hey, sit down. I was at my grandma all night. Bro, with the grief. Poor kid. Can't get any sleep there. It's incessant. So. That's sick, bro. Imagine killing your girl's son and then going to fuck your side. Five's just a negotiating platform. Take it easy. It's not five. We all know that. This guy's did the heavy lift. Little Paulie was good to go. Fucking car never came. 
on twenty percent. Give him twenty percent. Give him twelve k. Nah, give him twenty k, man. I'm asking you to reconsider this, Farley. You requested a sit down. He heard you out. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! I'm leaving thirty eight thousand dollars on the table. Tony, I had to park the car all the way over there. What the fuck? He's fucking trash. I see the trash. Shit. Man, he on that cane. He gonna be. Oh, Farley about to lose it. Oh, he definitely is. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me where I can find something more dressy? Not even. So this is where she gonna muted. find her, cause I'll she's supposed look. to be. Yep, there we go. Mm. They have this great she little won't. black cocktail I saw over there. Hmm. What was I have? Thing is, it's, it's for a funeral. It's a cousin of mine. Anyway, last time we went to a funeral, my boyfriend bitched me out over what I wore. It's his boss's mother's wig. I said, Come on, you think Tony even noticed for like one Damn, minute what she... I had on? She doesn't even realize what she's doing, bro. I was gonna go sit with a Starbucks. So was I. You wanna go together? Yeah. Great. Onyx, they... That easy. Yep. That easy. That easy. Already said Tony's name. Like, you are 10 oh, seconds look at in. The, look at the doc. Hey, I noticed, guy. What you probably don't know <laughs> is that treatment. That's the same commercial he was shooting yep. when he called him. <laughs> <laughs> he about to get a call right now from that motherfucker. Viagra, penile enhancement surgery. Imagine He's selling Viagra. In an operation like that. I can help you increase the length, girth, and vitality of what occurred next. <laughs> <laughs> Conveniently located throughout. The hey! <laughs> My man came he... out with... He just missing the baton, like... Hi, me. You're right. That man looked like he punched tickets at the train station. <laughs> like <laughs> your dress grays. You know what? You look very handsome. Damn, the dress grays. That's what they was wearing in a uh, Starship Troopers. Shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. I ain't never seen no dress grays before. What the fuck is that? What did you say? He ain't trying to get oh, slapped. He got again. the chin strap. Oh my god! If I wasn't already married. He looked like he was crying upstairs. Facts. Try that Either shit. That or smoking the fucking fatty. Yep, <laughs> he about <crying>. to cry. <laughs> yep, he was crying. <laughs> I don't want to go there. You need toughening up. Tony, stand up straight, okay? I'm standing fucking straight. Hey, you keep it Slap. up, goddamn it. You created this, Tony. Don't. This is all your fault. Hell nah. Oh, he about to pass oh. out. What's happening? Bam. Oh my God. Hey, Anthony. Jay. Hey, Jay. Anthony. Here. Get some water or something. Okay. My son. Just like you. Has panic attacks. That's crazy. So they never, ever learned about the football suit. Mm -mm. When you blame your genes, you're really blaming yourself. Yep. And that's what we should be talking about. Fucking verbum day school. Turns out it happened before. But they didn't tell us. Ah, he brought it up. Okay, yeah. She yep. diagnosed it as dehydration from football practice. Mm, okay. That's fair, though. I definitely yeah. blacked out during during football once. That shit was tough. We can't send him to that place. Yes. How are we going to save this kid? Yep, I knew mm. that's what the question was. He felt, he felt like that was his last chance. Military school. He don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm scratching my head too. Like, how does he? He got to spend. They got to spend more time with him. They never yeah, spend I mean, time with him. Like, <laughs> it's a lot easier yeah. said than done with it. With the life that Tony lived, Tony lived the perfect life to spend time with his kids. He spends half his time <laughs> fucking Gumars, bro. Look at my man. Look at this. Your mother. What the Come on, fuck? Let's go. Wait, what? Silvio, old man for Dante. Hit a funeral detective film on Brian Cease, Essex County Sheriff's Department. You're under arrest for violation Title 2C, Chapter 37, Section 2 of the New Jersey Penal Code, promoting gambling. That's crazy. I thought the effects of Danielle was already taking over. Like, what the fuck? Mmm, June they made it. Christ, you told me 11 o'clock. I'm sorry. Sorry. That's all I hear. Bring your ass, <laughs> goddammit. Jeez. <laughs> that nigga said <laughs> 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 Then he left. <laughs> Yo, he left Bobby. Come on, it's a fucking funeral, man. 
Can't be making me laugh right now. Did he not have permission or something? <laughs> Ain't no telling. What is that? Mm -hmm. Why he creeping? Who is that? <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't know. What, I, I gotta paint a picture? He, he was killed by some fat fucking see-through socks. Mm. Take your pick. They all look alike. Mm -hmm. Wow. Metal was on that same wave. Kelly, you really have no basis to say that. Wow, but she changed her tune. We used to joke around about our families. What happened to you? Yeah, right. I mean, if my dad still controls all the crime in North Jersey like your dad does now, I probably want to drop it too. She um. on her face. The fact like that you that, would even shorty. say this in front of an outsider is amazing to me. Mm. She's an outsider. Christ, some loyalty. Mmm, Meadow's showing... Like, she ready for the life. <laughs> Sad day. Mm. Mm. Let me taste it. Kid was always a dumb fuck, though, wasn't he? <laughs> June, he, he keep it real. Then he almost drowned in three inches of water. <laughs> Sad, though. He almost drowned in three inches of water. <laughs> the penguin exhibit. Would a child passed away, this place would be filled to the rafters. Flower cars up and down the block. Hmm. No matter what the boy had done. Now. <sighs> time, times have changed, man. Facts. Well, Bobby says you're out from under the house arrest. Congratulations. Oh, nice. He completely out. In the Museum of Noses, there goes the friggin' Mona Lisa. Oh shit. What the fuck you doing out here? Jenny thinks I quit. <laughs> Fucking underboss of a five families family. Jenny can get heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Man. Don't, yeah, don't, nothing. don't talk about you it. You could tell Please. Uncle John. Here Fucking Tony. He knows my mother, Zoo. Then he rules against me in this Morristown bullshit. You think Tony plays favorites like that? What do I say to Ma? That maybe Tony fundamentally don't respect the elderly. You said that to Junior? Ay, <laughs> <laughs> Dios. Mm. Exactly. Stop wilding, son. You know, Carmine, too. Sometimes he gets very frustrated with Tony and Ralphie. That generation. How is Carmine? He asks about you. Give him my love. Oh, I will. shit. You like hearing that. <sighs> you switching families, Pauly? Come on, Junior, sing it. <laughs> Junior! Come on! <laughs> you feel me? You can't put a man on blast. You just For gotta real. get quiet and just pay attention. Like, what the hell? come on, man. You off house arrest. Let's go. Sing that shit. I beat cancer. Yeah. And I'm gonna beat the can. Yeah. <laughs> beat that Rico case. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bobby! Like, That's my oh, father up there, bro. Oh my God! Don't rekindle this shit. Fucking Artie. Pay attention to what you got right there in front of you. Your wife beautiful as fuck too. Who threw something? All of them bad. You saw that, Tony? Nah, I didn't even see that. Look like someone threw a piece of bread at that nigga. Is that metal? Gotta be metal. Oh my god, it is. She got it. She got the bread in her hand. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> Y'all don't put the later fucking whip down on these motherfuckers. Exactly, yeah, bruh. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Nah, you finna get your ass whooped right here. This is such bullshit. She no! won. No! Wow. Half the people in the room can't even understand the song, like. <laughs> and they don't give us any subtitles, so gotta love it. Damn, we went crying. Got the whole room crying. Oh. That's that opera effect. <laughs> they got me for a second. It's the original song. They just switched to Mandarin? But, like, what? 
What is going on right now? I do not know. <laughs> what is going on? I thought you were Shit, changing like, the languages. Like, what is nah, going on? nigga, I don't got no. I don't want to. Look, now we in Spanish. Are we going to get English? That was a weird ending, y'all. That was just weird. That was very. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, that was. So... <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was, but that I shit gotta watch this off. shit again because I'm like, nigga, what did what did we experience just now? <laughs> like, what? All right, there you have it, The Soprano season three finale in the books. Yeah, I don't even know how to feel about this shit, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, son. I mean, they started off where they needed to, you know, continuing off of basically what happened last episode and how people are dealing with it, the funeral and shit like mm-hmm. that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> the yeah. way it ended, I was just kind of like, what the fuck? Like, I, I definitely feel like I picked up on, you know, some of the other subtle shit that was going on, like... Like the FBI basically starting to come back in the mix. They're starting to ask a little bit more questions. Um, kind of the the situation with with AJ and stuff like that, and how Metal's starting to feel about things. But I, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> For a finale, I was just kind of like, oh no, man. give me episode twelve again, please. <laughs> <laughs> how you um, feeling over there, Bradley? I'm feeling great, man. I thought the episode was good, um, but. I, I I do have that same uh, feeling as well. Um, I guess you could call it the the, the Breaking Bad effect, right? You know, because I, I feel like Breaking Bad kind of did that. You know, like they're even though some of their finales are obviously like bangers, but I feel like the episodes before the finales are like banger bangers. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? So <clears throat> I don't know. I wrap up like. Yeah, it's just wrapping up the whole se- the whole season, especially what just recently happened uh, last episode. So I just feel like, you know, they're just wrapping things up, and then you know, we're gonna go on that 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 uh that journey that Sopranos loves to do, and that's uh take us any and everywhere, you know, when it comes to season four. So, you know, I overall I thought it was a a good uh just a nice little wrap up for uh you know the the last three. Four, four, you know, episodes that that we had going on here. Yep. All right, what we want to touch on first, man, because I feel like most of the shit is obviously, you know, for season four. Mm-hmm. Um, like as far as what happened this episode, though, I'm trying. I want to start on that. I want to start on that. Like, yeah. Well, um, I sit guess we down. Start- that was a big one. We could we could touch on that. Oh, the actual sit down between uh, Paulie and uh, Ralphie. Yeah, because like that's what I'm saying. I feel like everything that wasn't that didn't have to do with the funeral is just all prep for for season four. Like mm. we seen the sit down didn't go well, so now Paulie went and talked to Johnny and shit. Like, um, what Metal's going through. Like that's season four, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, so mm-hmm. I'm just like, damn, what, what should we really touch on? That's like right now, <laughs> kind of. I don't think we got anything. <laughs> I think it's all future talk, basically. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I mean, uh, I guess we should talk about the star of the, the, the episode, with AJ, right? I think we, we started off, kick it off of him, and then trickle on, trick it all in with the other ones. But uh, yeah, AJ, man. <sighs> what, what, what can I say about this young kid, man? I, I I want the best for him, but he just keep doing dumb shit. And then on top of that, it's just like, what is he? What can Tony and Carmela really do to kind of change this kid's life? Like, um, obviously, you know, I, I feel like Tony is kind of banking on, you know, the whole Jackie situation kind of straighten him, you know, hmm. kind of, you know, possibly scare him straight, yeah. you know? Hopefully, that's you know that's what I feel like Tony's trying to uh, convey with his uh, his looks at freaking AJ and shit. So I, I I really don't know what they're gonna do with with AJ, man. Obviously, he's not going to the military, but what does he go from here? Um, obviously, we got to get him into school and all that. So mm-hmm. 
I was just kind of. I, mean, I guess he's. Oh, go ahead. No, no, I was gonna say. I guess they, you know, uh, I don't know. You could just take it from there. Yeah, I was gonna say. I guess he's got to go to that remedial school that they send him to, like, mm. <laughs> which, in my opinion, well, I ain't gonna shit on the remedial schools because it definitely works for some, but it ain't it ain't good for all. Like, because mm. one thing you gotta realize is when you get in trouble and they send you to the place where troublemakers have to go what are you doing you're basically getting sent to hang out with a bunch of other trouble troublemakers like yep. iss in school suspension like that shit was popping nigga it was just a bunch of us acting the clown like you know what i'm saying i didn't i don't want to talk about <laughs> my military troubles but even that shit like i was just around a bunch of other knuckleheads that just we just continued getting into more trouble like so I'm worried about that. He goes to the remedial school, hangs out with the wrong people, and just continues down the path. So um, you're right. Like, what are they going to do? Like, they need to spend more time with this kid. We've seen it, and we actually made comments about it, too, like, throughout the first couple of seasons of how little we see of AJ mm -hmm. and his interactions with his parents. Um, so they got to figure that shit out because, like, I know... I know um, during the reaction, you had made the comment, like, you know... You still got to think about the time. Like, of course, definitely. But I think Tony definitely has time. Like, he's, he, there's, we've seen him just chilling at Bada Bing doing nothing. Yeah. We've seen him spent a whole day with a Gumar at the mm -hmm. fucking zoo and shit. And yep. then Carmela is essentially a housewife. Like, obviously, I want her to do that real estate shit too. But I do think they could potentially come up with a plan to do some type of homeschooling or something for this kid to, to get him right. Like, Cause they gotta, they gotta get him on the path, man. He, Cause he honestly has a very similar attitude that Jackie has, like about yep. they don't give, a, they don't care, like whoop de woo, like. Cause he doesn't get enough consequences. You know what I'm saying? Nintendo for a week or whatever. Who cares yep. if I'm at my friend's house the next day, playing their Nintendo anyways? Like, so it's just, man. It's, it's it, was, it was, it was, it was tough to see though. As a father, my kids, they only six, so they got ways to go before they get like that, but. I'm watching this shit like, yeah, all right, nigga. <laughs> Bro, especially when, yo, oh my God, when he told, when he said the F word to his moms. Yeah, that was, uh, that's a huge no no. And nah, that would you not be me? happening. You, you're you getting put to sleep. I'd rather you say fuck me before you say fuck me to my woman, bro. Like, or fuck my woman, you know what I'm saying? Like, but he didn't say fuck you, but he said the son about the fucking pants. Fucking, but still, yeah. like, I'd rather mm -hmm. you cuss at me. They cuss at my lady, bro. Like, we, like that shit. Listen, that shit would have made me turn up, dude. He's lucky he passed out, because <laughs> if it was in, in my mom's crib, he would have been gone. He would have been sleeping for the wrong reason. Like, <laughs> yeah, it sucks seeing them uh, go through this, man. And and mm -hmm. now that he is expelled, like, what what is to come for this, uh, for AJ? Because... I feel like now we have to kind of like put some time into him, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'm yeah. just kind of curious what what that's going to look like for the Sopranos, you know? Yep. Because what is he? Uh, junior? Sophomore? Junior? Uh, I can't. I, I don't know, to be honest. Sophomore, I think. Sophomore? Yeah, okay. I think so. so. Yeah, we definitely, it's time to start digging more into his story because he, he's damn near, he's going to be an adult soon. Well, yep. 18 soon, you know what I'm saying? Like two more years. He acting so. like one. <laughs> I just don't want him to go down the the Jackie route. I feel um, like he's smart. He's smarter than that. Like, but I don't know. Yeah, he is. But uh, yeah, you never know. You know, he goes through his phases. Yep, he might go exactly. through another one. Um, exactly. just one really small thing. We don't even got to talk about it. I just kind of want to know from the comments if it's not a spoiler. Who is that guy in the back just creeping up on Ralphie? Like. <laughs> That was just and they kept it blurred weird. too, huh? Like they kept it blurred too. You yeah. feel me? Like yeah. they could have definitely made that an in shot, an in camera shot for us to see his face. That's what got me so curious. Like, yeah. yeah, if it ain't a spoiler, yeah, if it's not a spoiler, don't say nothing. You know, if it is a spoiler, I mean, don't say nothing. If it's not a spoiler, don't forget. If you don't say nothing, it's still a spoiler because you didn't say anything. <laughs> All right, just remember that. Or um, they just didn't get to the end talk. Like, that's, <laughs> that's facts. That's facts. <laughs> um, I guess, I guess, um, yeah, man, just Ralphie in general, man, how he, hmm. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't like him. 
I don't. I, I I know. I just last episode, I was like, you know, I'm sorry. He's starting to grow on me. You know what I'm saying? He's starting to grow on me. And then, uh, yeah. Uh... Flip flop. I Get your to... chanclas. <laughs> I, nah, I feel know, it man. though. He, yeah, Ralphie. I mean, he's on another level though. Like we've we've all, we've known we've known what he's capable of. So it doesn't even surprise me that he actually took this route. I guess the biggest surprise is that he did kind of seem sincere a little bit um, when he was talking to Tony. Mm. And then I thought the cry solidified it, but maybe the cry was the fact that he realized, I got to kill this little nigga. Like, and maybe yeah. that's what the cry was yeah. while he was hugging his mom. Like, Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, yeah. And it's the I think the craziest thing about it, though, and I had mentioned it, I was like, oh, man, perfect place to die because they're going to blame it on, you know, the drug dealers Drugs, and shit. yep. And fucking why Chris go and congratulate Tony for that shit? I know, like, right? You right, feel me? Right. Like what? It, what happens when he finds out that was Ralphie that set it up? Does he congratulate Ralphie for it? Does he feel more positive to to Ralphie? Because like right now the loyalty is 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 getting weird. That's all I'm saying. Like it's getting weird the way motherfuckers, the way Tony's been acting and how people are starting to feel about it. So I'm just like. <sighs> trying to pay attention to every sentence basically like it, it may, maybe some of them I'm just digging too much into it but I'm just like damn like he congratulated Tony and Tony had nothing to do with it <clears throat> so I don't know I don't know what else is going to come from that situation obviously it's going to be more but yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know where that puts Ralphie basically because right. even at the end of the day Tony told him whatever you choose I'm with it anyways yeah so even if he Ralphie does decide to say, hey, I know I said I was going to give him a pass, but I thought more on it. And, you know, it is what it is. I know. You got to eat that. And, yeah, it's just crazy that Tony's kind of like just like didn't have a bigger reaction to, you know, the situation and how everything went down. You know, especially since he was kind of pushing towards, you know, you know, uh, not wanting Jackie dead. So it was, it was just kind of surprised to see Tony kind of. Not really have a reaction to it, you know? I think he's convinced that it was really a drug deal gone wrong. Like, nobody knows except for the people that know, bruh. That's the thing. Yeah, but nobody. Tony knows why he's on the run, though. Yeah, so? It isn't like... Mm, I guess. Yeah, I the guess. The only people that know are the people out, that know, bruh. That's just... You know what they say? If it's a coincidence, then you know it's, it's it has to be tied together. Like that's true, that's true. But Tony also, you know, he always dealing with a lot of shit too. Like I don't know, I don't know. Maybe he's relieved, low key, and maybe it's, that's why he's not reacting as bad. It's still shocking as fuck to um for him to go out the way. Yeah, like I, to be honest, I thought he was really gonna kind of survive. Me too. Yeah, I I really thought he was gonna survive. I didn't think they were gonna go through it. Uh, through it. So, <clears throat> to be honest, that, the shock factor in this episode is definitely high for me. Um, not only that, uh, we got to see Omar. Uh, don't know what they named him in this show, but uh, cause you know we completely just brushed that aside. But it was just surprising to see someone from the wire in this show and and. It, it, it's always those random characters. Like, we had Mike Epps, I think, like, the second or third episode. Um, now Omar and a few others. So, it's just... You never know who's going to pop up on The Sopranos, which is crazy. Facts. <laughs> they keep all that shit tied together, man. This this is really a part of the wire, though. This got to be. This is the I time. Said. Yeah. Omar came up yeah, to New York. This is when he came to New York. Yeah, yeah. he went to New York. Fucking... Like in... <laughs> Went to Jersey, went right across the bridge. Like. We all know he like to keep uh, families around inside his apartment to kind of, you know what I'm saying, conceal himself. Like, so mm-hmm. it ain't nothing new. Facts. That shit crazy. Confirmed. <laughs> like, I'm surprised. I, f- I feel like, has anyone commented that Omar was going on? Like, hell no. No one even. You. No one even Man. hinted to that. You feel me? I'm surprised. Like, motherfuckers normally spill the beans. Like That's the thing. We got a pretty good community, though. Low key, low key. I mean, I wouldn't take it as a spoiler if someone said it. Like, if they were just like, oh, you know, this actor. What's his name? Michael Douglas? Nah. Not. I'm not. I'm just saying. Douglas? I really was about to say that (laughs) shit. (laughs) It's been a while. 
white man? Yo, a white nah. older man? No, he's not, nigga. I'll Google that shit right now. Michael ain't, ain't Douglas, that... ain't that the, the fucking old dude nigga. from fucking? Uh... Shut up, nigga. Because if he is, I'm gonna be hurt. Like me or nigga. some shit. <laughs> 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 Yo, <laughs> from Basic Instinct, Fatal mm. Attraction, Ant Man. He was Ant Man. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. See, Yo, I knew I was a bad. I knew Nigga, I was a my bad. Yeah, that's why I didn't even finish the last name because I knew I was wrong, bro. I was just like, let me just shut up, <laughs> my <Michael> Doug. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't have took it as a spoiler if niggas do that. But um, yeah, the, that situation is crazy. Um, I want to touch on the Pauly shit, bro. I got Let's you. Get to I it. need to. Let's get to it. I need to because I remember we kept bringing up Johnny before when he was having his little side conversations with Ralphie and mm-hmm. stuff. And we were trying to figure out if he was, you know, snooping a little bit into into business. Um, I feel like the show plus the commenters kind of led me away from that that feeling. Um, especially the commenters, they were just like, yeah, you know. He, Money, money, basically. Like it, it's in his best interest to keep friction as little as possible because at the end of the day, they the New York family eating with the New Jersey family, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm-hmm. So I was cool with that, but I don't know, bro. They, they every time they show that man, he just snooping. You feel me? Yeah. Like I get that feeling the, too. You feel me? And then mm-hmm. the whole generational shit. Like that's a recurring theme. Like it's always generation versus generation. Like yep. it's Chris generation versus Tony's, Tony's versus June's, and then everyone older that is in a, uh, in a nursing home. But fucking yeah, that's the dust. Yeah, that's that's it's just fucking me up, bro. Because Paulie technically is um, older than than Tony and shit like that. Like mm-hmm. so the whole not respecting your elders and all this other stuff. Talking about he talked to June about it as well. It's, you feel me? Cause June's the boss. Tony just the acting boss. June the real boss. So why are you talking to June about this shit? Like, and then Johnny did make a comment about it. So I'm like, okay, maybe he's on our side. But then I feel like he also was just like, I'll definitely tell Carmine about this and that. So I'm not, just trying to figure out where we at, man. The insubordination is popping through clearly. Listen, so he's definitely snooping because every single time he mentions it. He always mentioned, oh, you know, I, I don't snoop. I don't snoop. <laughs> I'm not here to snoop. But you let know. me tell you some gossip. Like, yeah, stop yeah, it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stop it, man. We we see through the cap. Like, we 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 we, we picking up on it. Yeah, he he's definitely he definitely fishy, man. I don't I don't know what that's gonna lead to. You know what I'm saying? What his involvement is gonna lead to the whole uh, family. Uh, mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, it can't be good. It can't be good at all. Um, Especially since he said that Carmine's been having issues with Tony and Ralphie, too. Mm. That's a big... I think that's a big little hint right there. A big mm-hmm. little hint. A big hint right there. Um, talking And Paulie talking about, you know, if Carmine need anything. Because, like, I know... Like, I know that I always get caught up in the hierarchy and how things work and shit like that. But at the end of the day... I always feel like the rule book could just get thrown out the window, depending on who's who's doing the throwing. You know what I'm saying? So like, if a if a if a OG like Carmine, big boss like Carmine, tell Paulie, fuck it, whack Ralph and Tony. Like, yes, there's probably some some loyalty on, on Soprano side that's gonna be that's gonna maybe try to attack Paulie, um, and retaliate. But like, what can they really do? Like, if the big boss is the real head honchos, is like, motherfucker, what up? Like, we, we moving to pieces now, you know? So, I'm mm-hmm. always kind of conflicted around that shit and how that all works. I don't think it's going to get to that point where Carmine will actually tell Paulie to try to kill Tony and Ralph. But I do think that sentence uh, meant a little bit more than I agree. Than, than what it needs to. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man. What else, what, what else we had this episode, man? This We had Meadow. Yeah, Meadow. Yeah, Meadow. Do it, man. Definitely going through it. Um, yeah, man, she was pretty much like a roller coaster this whole entire episode. Yes. Um, yes. She started off with the whole, you know, <laughs> this is a part of the family who did this and blase, blase. And then her mother kind of, you know, kind of gave her a, 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 you know, a slap in the in the mental. 
to kind of tell her like, nah, you know that that ain't what it is. And then she kind of rode that horse for a little bit, but then said, "Fuck this horse, I'm going home." So it's like I don't I don't know where she stands at, you know, with the whole. I don't know her acting up at the at the uh, at Artie's was mm-hmm. kind of off. Like for me, it was just weird. Her acting that way, obviously. Um, the conversation between her and Carmela in the car, how she was saying that, uh, you know, he used to tell me that uh, he could he could basically do whatever he wants and nobody would do anything because, you know, nobody cared and his father was the boss. So it's like, is she taking a page from his book and kind of doing that as well? Or is this, I'm not really, you know, I'm not really sure about that. I mean, this, I would say that's a good good assumption like it makes sense you know what i'm saying she even oops i did it again like mm-hmm. really just like bullshitting so maybe that is what it is like she's just trying to she's just showing them like yeah this is what happens when when daddy the boss and parents don't care um but i don't know it's, it's a hard read like that that's the main thing i wanted to get out <laughs> was this episode made her very hard to read it um, did. because she was up and down like she mm-hmm. she was she was about that life that she was against that shit like nah like and then the whole like why are you even talking uh around you know outsiders and shit i'm just like yeah. damn metal about to become a mobster herself like and then even when she quoted her dad and shit like that i'm like uh she takes it looks like she picking up more from daddy than mommy these days like is <laughs> she going to become you know is she daddy's girl and aj mommy's boy is that how we we moving here um, how it usually goes. That is usually how it goes, <laughs> right? So fucking, yeah. I'm kind. I'm. I'm curious to what's her next move. Like, I'm, cause like obviously, she's going through things about Jackie and shit like yep. that. Yep. But yep. I'm curious to how she feels just overall about the big picture. The like, family. Of being yeah, exactly the family. Mm-hmm. The family. So, season four, man. Give me some more, man. Cause god damn. Hey. We still got we still got a lot to play with, man. We're gonna still got what three seasons left. So hell yeah, still got plenty to play with. Got still plenty, got plenty. We still got all the main characters basically still here too. Mm-hmm. Like I know some of them gonna have to eventually start getting whacked. Suck which pussy. Is suck. That man mm-hmm. long gone. Oh yeah, yeah, puss. Yeah, oh, man, in the current puss. stream. <clears throat> but um, another big one. Is Danielle for sure? For sure, got to call that out. Uh, that was her name, right? Danielle, Danielle. The FBI agent. Ooh. Yeah, the FBI agent. Can't I think it was can't, Danielle. Can't piece that. No, but I. Yep, we know where you at. Well, yeah. Well, we are gonna touch on that because she already done found her in, and man, just too, 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 too easy. Too easy. Fucking. Bro, she literally said Tony's name within 20 seconds of the conversation, bro. And not even knowing, yeah. Not even knowing. Like, not even knowing. She about to She said boss at stuff. first. Like, yo, keep it at boss. Don't say nothing else. And then she going to follow up and say the man's name. All over some fucking Wardrobe. feedback on, like, what clothes to wear and mm-hmm. shit. Like, it's... Ay, Dios. So it sucks. It sucks because, you know, it's not her fault, technically. Like, she, she doesn't know. Um, but you, I feel like at the same time, when you deal with the people you're dealing with, a.k.a. your man is Chris, y'all planning on getting married and shit like that, you got to start, you know, just moving a little different. You got to keep your head on a swivel. Um, but I feel like that also comes from just transparency of, of them, like, to their wives and shit like that. Like, they don't... You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't put them in a position where they probably feel like they have to be alert like that. Um, I I feel like Tony does. I mean, I feel like the the, the relationship between them two really kind of, you know, I feel like she wouldn't go and say no dumb shit like that and Silvio's wife either. Like, I feel like this is just a Chris thing. I feel like this is a younger generation thing. I don't know. I, I don't know, cause Carmela done already said a lot to pastors, preachers, psychiatrists, and all that. Uh, right? so. Those are all people who can't say anything. Like you feel me? Like a pastor can say whatever the fuck he want. The shrink, yeah, not so much. A pastor, a pastor, no. 
Yes, no, the hell they can. They there ain't no legal confidentiality clauses and shit. There isn't no legal, but uh, they make a contract with the man above. Fuck all that. <laughs> That's their contract. I'm just that. letting you know. They keeping it 100. Like, nah, bro. Because you know at the end of the day, if Carmella was as swivel as, as on the swivel like you say, she wouldn't have been in that car with Gloria. Like, that right there was a, a mm, moment that she... Nah, you feel me? Like, that's a nah, reach. bro. Nah, bro. They, they, they don't keep their women in the loop enough to for them to move the way they need to move. And that's the issue, man. Yeah. But, but the point is, that shit was too easy. <laughs> so we got we to gotta keep our eye on, on uh, Adriana and, and, and her yeah. new bestie. Because... She could literally. I was honestly um, waiting for her to pop up at the funeral and shit. I'm just like, yo, me I know too. she ain't invite her. You me feel too. me? Like, I'm just like, I hope she ain't get her this far already. <laughs> but uh, I do like, I do like that they introduced it though because we, we. That's another thing we've been asking a lot about. Like, when's the FBI gonna get thrown back mm-hmm. into the mix? And there this was go. a perfect episode because yep. they got thrown back in the mix. They got a new field agent. Mm-hmm. Um, and June is off house arrest, and the Rico trial is coming up. So like. I think season four is going to touch on a lot of that shit. Like, yeah, a lot of that. I agree. I agree. I definitely think they're going to... You know, they, they started the season with it a little bit, and then they mm-hmm. uh, kind of fell back a little bit. But, mm-hmm. yeah, it seems like that's going to be just a recurring thing, you know. Every once in a while, the FBI is going to be knocking on the doors and, you know, putting people in handcuffs. And, you know, we're going to get back to our soup, you know. It's still going to be warm, so regardless of what they do... Still coming back. <laughs> nah, not everybody's soup, man. Eventually, some of these motherfuckers ain't getting back out, man. Uh, nah, you ain't lying. You ain't lying because, uh, yeah, they're just the whole uh, the Chris and his his girl with you know the FBI and all that. We just we just seen Chris. What mm-hmm. was it last episode? Just body somebody in the middle of the street. So you never know what type of situation he could possibly get himself into. While she possibly could be around, so mm-hmm. I can't wait. I can't wait. <sighs> Don't say it like that, man. He is a hothead. He do pop off. He so do, man. Right. He do. All right. What else we got? I feel. I don't know. I feel pretty good. Like I'm. I'm. I'm low key ready for season four. Me too. Like that's it. like even though I liked episode twelve more than this one. It was still like like you said, it was a really good episode and it wrapped up pretty much what we've been touching on for like the past four. Mm-hmm. Um and it just wrapped up the season nicely as well and got me kinda juiced for the next one because <laughs> I think the FBI are gonna be cracking skulls, bro. Like <laughs> and then June coming off a of house arrest and beating cancer. Like I'm ah, oh, this Yep. I need to know what's gonna <laughs> happen. What's next? What's AJ's trajectory? What's Carmine? Like, are they gonna even show him? They haven't showed him. Have they ever showed Carmine? Nope. I want to say once, right? Didn't they show Johnny and a, and a couple other people from New York? I don't. I don't recall. Uh, all right. Oh. Either way, I'm ready for season four, man. <laughs> I need some more, man. Uh, you got anything else from this episode you want to touch on? Yeah, Artie, I just already being a creeper. <laughs> yeah, uh, I just want to say, uh, who would have thought we would have had a, 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 a solo mm. from fucking Junior? Like, that was just beautiful, to be honest. He was a great, he has a pretty great great voice, especially in Italian. It, it sounds really good. I, I didn't expect that at all. Um like I said, the ending was still hella confusing with all the languages. Yeah. If I that's that. not a spoiler, please let us know why that was a thing. Um, mm-hmm. Is it possible that just that song is just universal and every version, they have, you know, multiple versions of that same song because it's just that powerful? Maybe. I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, everybody was tearing up um, from it. So, but even still, why? <laughs> like, cause even the uh, I don't know the fucking name in, in Italian, but but the Porti Volare song, mm-hmm. they always play that in Italian. They don't ever play that in Spanish. They don't ever play yeah. a Spanish version. They play the Cantiro version or whatever it's called. I don't so know. I'm just like, you feel weird. me? They went from Mandarin, Mandarin to Spanish to 
That was it, right? Just Mandarin and Spanish? No, nah, it was Mandarin, something else, and uh, in, in Spanish. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know what the fuck the point of that was. Yeah. I assume I assume Silvio enjoyed that, though, right? I think they the commenter said Silvio's an actual musician, so he probably thought that was a pretty cool moment to hear uh, Uncle June hit them tunes. I, thought I did like that, though. Yeah, it was, it was a really cool, like, I don't know, just family moment, especially because June was like, you know, if Jackie was boss, there'll be cars lined out and this shit will be packed. Like, mm-hmm. so to kind of step up and get the crowd all together and, you know, just feeling, letting the emotions flow. I thought that was pretty, pretty dope. I like June. He's a good I love June. Yeah, he's good. He's mm-hmm. solid, man. He's solid. That's all I got, though, man. <laughs> I have one more thing, but I forgot it, so I'm good. No, nah, remember it, bro. Because if we missed it, we got to get to it. You already know how we usually do, man. So let's just <laughs> go through the process and we'll eventually bring it back <laughs> up. Stupid. That shit going like, to right back after the, end, the score. Like. Like. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, then. It's you. It's you. It's you. Let's um, go. Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to go. say. And mm. I'm going to tie it into my score. Uh, uh, I'm giving this an 875, okay? Um, thought the episode was great. Uh, it could have it could have got that extra notch to give it that nine, right? Mm-hmm. If we would have heard that song from Janice, you know, Sona's oh, calling them. Oh, this you know nigga. what I'm saying? They hit, they calling them left and right. Yo, we got a record deal for you, Janice. Uh, I would love to hear what this thing sounds like, especially with uh, "I Have Risen" is gonna be on the track. That man gonna be producing it. You know how like it's London on the track. I have risen on the track. <laughs> have you heard? <laughs> bow, 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 bow. He, he has risen. risen. <laughs> <laughs> Productions. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, we love you, Jesus. I gotta listen. Oh. I gotta hear this, man. I need to. Uh, we, we they brought it back. So that's th- crazy that they did. You know what I'm saying? Because so, you was asking for that shit every episode since they fucking mentioned it. Uh, oh. But hopefully we could get a little slice of that. That would be great. I just wanted to mention that because I thought that was just a, a nice little nod to the to the, to the the episode that they actually were kind of mm-hmm. having a jam session. So hopefully that comes into fruition. If it doesn't, overall this season has been great. Even with, um, I feel like even with the rewrite, and you know the the overhaul of the season that they had to do because you know the passing of, of, of Olivia, I think they 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 managed to to uh, produce a great season regardless. Yeah. Um, I can only imagine how it would have went. You know, it, it would have played into the whole you know mother theme of her you know trying to bring down her son and all that. I, I I'm pretty sure that could have went completely uh, different, but. Uh, mm. Like I said, I think what what they what they got here, they did they did a pretty good job. So, season three, loved it. <clears throat> Can't wait to to move on to season four because I know it's gonna be a hell of a ride. I agree, man. I agree. Even with the rewrites, I still I still think they wrapped up the season. I think everything we hated was probably due to the rewrites. That's Paulie's right. attitude due to the rewrites. <laughs> Gloria, maybe we would have never had Gloria Trillo if I Livia would have uh, if Livia's actor would be alive. Who knows, man. I'm interested in what them rewrites was, but uh, I agree though. I think um, it was just slightly short of a nine. I'm gonna give it the eight point eight because mm. um, it definitely wasn't bad enough for eight point five. Or eight point five is not a bad score, so I don't want to say bad enough. But yeah, uh, yeah I'll give it like an eight point eight. Um, and just to bounce off your little final thought, bro, what's up with Janie sitting in fucking Ralphie's lap? Like that was you feel Wait. me? I wonder if that was just like a. A friendly sit on the lap kind of thing. I've seen that happen before. Mm-hmm. Um, so who knows? Maybe I ain't gonna reach into it till next season. They'll, they'll <laughs> definitely flesh that out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Is, is is that the Gumar he's been spending his whole night with while Ro was crying? Ooh, that would be you feel crazy. me? Like, because old boy sleeping all day, so he ain't giving out no pain. And his original sure. Gumar is no longer with us. So yep. So um, maybe I want to sell it near, sir. Janice and her damn Richie's and Ralphie's. <laughs> she picks the worst of the worst. But I don't know. It could just have been a friendly little environment. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 
that's some high eights across the board from yo two host you already know what it is if you still here rocking with us we appreciate y'all so much y'all keep us moving and grooving hope y'all enjoy season three as much as we did cannot wait to see y'all for season four y'all know what to do with the video go ahead drop your likes make sure you comment down below and most importantly man don't forget to subscribe to the channel all right man if you enjoy full length reaction we also have a patreon Everything is in the description below. The blur out, y'all. Here we come, season four. Peace. Peace.